We're in Windows Server 2012 R2. I'm going to show you how to prevent or allow fallback uh, or failback when you have your original server come back online. So what you need to do is to choose your server that you want to make the change and double click on it. And once the properties come up, then you see the servers that are in order that you want uh, the uh, virtual machine to run. So you can click on failover and from here you can either prevent the failover or allow it and you can say either immediately or you can change to the amount of minutes or hours before it uh, goes back to the original server. So once you make the change that you want just go ahead and click apply. You can also change the maximum failures in the specified period so if you reach that then it won't try to go back to the original server uh, either by the amount of time or the amount of times in a certain amount of hours. And then just go ahead and click OK.